Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to yet another edition of Executive Corner Expert Talks. My name is Monica and today we are joined by Dr. Rebecca McColtus, the Chief Operating Officer of Chimeric Therapeutics, the ticker code CHM. It's a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company leading advancements in cancer cell therapies. Chimeric is developing cutting-edge autologous CAR-T and allogeneic NK cell therapies, collaborating with renowned universities like the University of Pennsylvania and City of Hope. Dr. Rebecca brings extensive experience from global pharmaceutical leaders and holds a PhD in cell therapy and regenerative medicine. We are excited to learn from her about the company's latest advancements. Welcome, Dr. Rebecca. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Now to start off, could you give us the overview of Chimeric Therapeutics' current portfolio of cell therapies and the focus areas driving the company forward? So at Chimeric Therapeutics, we have three uh, areas of focus based on our three assets. And the first one is our lead program, which is CHM CDH17. That's targeted at gastrointestinal cancers all the way down uh, to colorectal cancer. Uh, and we've got two sites with a third opening shortly. Uh, the second area of focus is a tricky one, uh, and that's glioblastoma, which is a nasty brain cancer. Uh, and we've got a beautiful auto CAR-T from the City of Hope uh, with one site open in Austin, Texas currently. And our final area of focus is our off-the-shelf product, which is our beautiful LOMK product, uh, which means we can manufacture from a healthy donor about 200 doses of cells. Uh, and we're working with MD Anderson Cancer Centre on a very exciting uh, study at the moment. We are aware that Chimeric has recently advanced to a phase 1b trial for acute myeloid leukemia patients. Could you share how this trial aims to um, innovate or improve upon current treatments for this type of cancer? So this is very exciting. So for the LONK portfolio, which is our CHM Core NK, we've moved to frontline therapy for AML patients. And so this hasn't been done in blood cancer patients before with cell therapy. So together with our partners at MD Anderson, we're really breaking ground on cutting edge cell therapy treatments by using our cells first. And so we're really keen to see that patients that have a really nasty blood cancer, AML, how they respond to having cell therapy first up instead of having cell therapy, you know, third or fourth line, when their body's tired and full of chemotherapy, we're gonna test it right up the front and it's very exciting. Looking forward, how do you foresee this combination of therapy shaping the future of acute myeloid leukemia treatment? We actually think it's gonna be groundbreaking because this is gonna really move cell therapy up the treatment paradigm and really change the way that clinicians think about when to use the cell therapy in their toolkit and let's bring it out first to give these patients uh, the best shot. We have seen Chimeric is also making strides in gastrointestinal cancers with the first in-human clinical trial of CDH17 CAR T cell therapy. Could you outline the specific objectives and key endpoints of this trial? Yeah, so this trial is our lead program. It's basically a, a dose escalation study and it's a three plus three design. So that means that in each dose level, we'll have three patients uh, and then we'll move uh, up to the next dose level with three patients. And if we're safe to proceed, we'll continue to the final dose level. And my chief medical officer, Dr. Jason Litton, was very, very clever in designing this trial because we have a lot of flexibility in the design. So if we decide halfway through dose level two, we found the dose that's the most efficacious, we can move straight into phase two. Uh, so I'm very grateful for his clever design of our clinical trial. And so right now we've dosed three patients, we've had five successful manufacturing runs. So we're really moving along with this trial uh, and I really can't wait to share results with you when they come out, um, hopefully towards the end of Q1. Also, congratulations on securing the US patent for CHM0201. How does this milestone strengthen Chimeric Therapeutics' strategic positioning in the competitive landscape of cancer therapies? 
Well, this was really important in our frontline trial for AML. So this is again, shifting the paradigm, using our AlloNK cells to, to hit AML head on and really make sure that we give patients the best chance. So it was very exciting indeed. Partnerships often play a vital role in innovation. How do collaborations and alliances support chimeric therapeutics, research and development in cancer cell therapies? So one thing I'm very good at is partnerships. And so this is really important to us. And I think we've got a great partnership with MD Anderson Cancer Center. We've got a great partnership with Case Western. We've got a great partnership with City of Hope. I can keep listing them. Uh, and working on our lead program with UPenn, uh, we also have a great partnership there. But now, because we're based in Australia, we're an Australian listed company, my job is to really look at those Australian partnerships to see what we can um, develop here. So we announced one late last year with Cell Therapies um, based at Peter McCallum Cancer Centre. Uh, and so as we're able to bring our trials to Australia, they will be manufacturing our cell therapies for us, which is very exciting. Lastly, could you share some of the clinical milestones Chimeric Therapeutics aims to achieve in the next 12 months? So we will have a fair amount of data coming out of our CDH17 program. Uh, so we'll have the results from the first dose, um, hopefully short, like soon, I hope so. Uh, and then once we move up to the next dose, we'll have another announcement in three months. And we're roughly running around one patient a month because we wanna make sure that everybody's safe uh, and that the dose levels are well tolerated. Um, so we'll have uh, three uh, data updates uh, from that program uh, in the coming months. And uh, we'll also have an update about our progress for our chlorotoxin program, which is the brain cancer program. Uh, and then finally, we should have um, ongoing updates about our really exciting frontline AML trial uh, coming out shortly. But because we're in a partnership with MD Anderson on that one, we'll probably save the data and take it to ASH at the end of the year. Thank you, Dr. Rebecca, for sharing such valuable insights today. We are excited to see how Chimeric Therapeutics continues to transform the field of cancer treatment. Before we wrap up, do you have any final thoughts, any message for uh, the audience? Well, one thing that um, is important to share is I've recently been promoted to Chief Executive Officer. And so I'm very excited to be leading Chimeric into its next phase of really exciting data and um, growth, uh, particularly here in Australia. Congratulations for the position, Dr. Rebecca. That's Dr. Rebecca McAltis, the CEO of Chimeric Therapeutics. In case you have missed any bit of this interview, you can certainly catch the full interview on our YouTube channel, Calkine Media, and hear what she has to say about Chimeric Therapeutics. Do like, share and subscribe. This is Monica signing off now.